What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. I'm already suited up, ready to go. We're doing another Hawaii adventure here in, on the Big Island. And today I'm diving with two of the best free divers in Hawaii. We got, of course, Ryan Myers right behind me here. And we got Justin Lee. <laughs> you might have seen him on some of uh, Kimmy's videos and some of the meat eater stuff. Uh, we also got Jocelyn and we also are filming today for a sh local TV show called Hawaii Skin Diver with Kyle. <laughs> yeah. So you guys can check out uh, that TV show if you're local. Uh, hopefully, when? How long do these take to come out? A couple months. A couple months. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think this month this video will be out by then. But I'll leave a a link or any something in the description info about uh, that show. But anyways, we are spearing today. We're gonna go look for some kole, 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 kole. And what is that? So it's a yellow-eyed surgeon fish. So they're just black with a yellow little yellow eye. Uh huh. A big one, like a really catastrophically huge one. Prehistoric one would be like a pound. One um, pound. So we're looking for some small aquarium fish that, that will fry up into deliciousness. Sweet, sounds good. And he actually has a tattoo of a fish. Oh, it's right that, here. It's a fish. We'll show you later. Yes, we shall. <laughs> we'll show you later. <laughs> Anyways, let's get in the water. We're gonna get some fish and then we're gonna cook it up right on this cliff. And I have some something fun that I'm gonna make today. If, I, if it comes out the way I'm thinking in my head, it's gonna be amazing. All right, let's get to it. And the sketchiness is why I'm not going in there. Uh, we did a little practice dive the other day and I almost drowned, so taking a little break from little cliffside entries. And here we go, diving the crystal clear blue waters on the big island of Hawaii. As soon as we start, I start seeing these yellow eye kole right away. And immediately I take a dive, load up my spear, my three prong, twist it a little bit and take my shot. There we go, first shot, got my first kole. First shot, first shot, first fish. The kole, yellow eye kole. Nice shot. Woohoo! Nice, they're beautiful. Yeah, this is about the, about the same size as uh, Justin's tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> bigger a little bit bigger on the second one nice Woo. sweet nice breezy Woo! Okay, Doc, you ready for the next level? 
Okay. Pull it off with your left hand. Uh, okay. okay. Sounds good. Got yeah. the double! Got the double! Double! Woo! Woo! That's all! Perfect. Yeah! Here's some footage from Ryan. Justin here takes a dive ever so calmly, getting to the bottom and loading up his three prong. And he's making minimal movements, conserving energy and oxygen, just gliding in the water, utilizing the current and making it look effortless. Such a joy to watch. Uh, him and his element, someone who's mastered their craft. It's just so fun. And he doesn't shoot a fish on this drop, but uh, yeah, just the movement and his effortlessness is just incredible. And then here I go on the other side. That's me going down, not as effortless, a lot more movement than him, kind of jittery, <laughs> but uh, there you go, I was able to at least shoot a fish. All right, all right, we had a good dive, I got plenty of those cole, Whew. and we just picked some uh, opihi as well, which, is, uh, which are limpets, and we're going to incorporate that into the dish. Whew. It's a little hill to we gotta climb up to get back up here, so just a little winded at the moment. But we're gonna start setting up for uh, the cooking, and we'll make something delicious right on the cliff. Quick spam musubi break. Mm. I'm so hungry. <laughs> this is just a little snack. Can't wait to eat those little fish. I heard they're really good. I have never tried them. I'm stoked. Okay, before we can eat them, we gotta clean the fish. So I'll come down here, uh, see Ryan, he's cleaning the fish already. And they kinda, we kinda separated, and they went there, they went deeper water uh, to see if they can spear something big. So let's see if they got anything. I have my rod with me too. Did you guys get anything? Uh, just a big knife gel. Knife gel? Nothing, nothing too special. But yes. after that knife job that yeah. you made the other night, yeah. all knife job. Might died. as well, huh? <laughs> Look at these guys already clean. Oh, you got a... It's um, a Roy. A Roy. Yeah. This is the invasive. Just clean up the reef a little bit. Nice. Do our part. Right on. Ryan. This is you right there, huh? You're going to make magic. Yeah. All right, we're going to start with some prep. Boys got the fire going. Okay, I'm just gonna do a bell pepper first. No. I love how much purpose you have with your cut. Oh, you know, like, yeah. It's just conviction, it's just. No, his cut, his knife is insane. Okay, bell peppers are sliced. I feel like it would have taken me 45 minutes. 45 minutes to cut a single bell pepper. I would have been like, ah! I forgot my cutting board, so we're just using a nice stump here. It's a perfect, perfect cutting board. Bro, the, the carrot. that's an enjoyable carrot. <laughs> enjoyable carrot. <Okay. laughs> I'm sure like spearfishing, it is a thousand little things. Yeah. A thousand little tricks to your to right. your cooking. Yeah. And that's what makes it truly special. You know? It's, uh, people ask me all the time, they're like, they want to know this secret or that secret. I'm like, like there's no secret, man. There's yeah. a thousand little things to do and that's what uh and that's what makes it all work. I don't know if it's just something that just over time just being really appreciative of of people that are really good at what they do, whatever, whatever their craft is, whether mm -hmm. it's 
stacking cups or Rubik's cubes or yeah. cutting vegetables or spearing fish. Yeah. It all just fascinates me. When someone is so good at what they do that you just want to stop and admire. Right. And you know, you with a knife is is that. Just, just stop. Just wait admire. till you see him with a fish. <laughs> <laughs> like that fish. truly impressed me. You know, like that was like When Whoa. I was filleting and stuff. That, that was yeah. serious. That's something, yeah, like, take pride in it, if you, what you do. Everything, I mean, I mean, from the way that you first made sure it was scaled, you know, everything was cleaned, too. prepped, ready with paper towels, beautiful, before, you know, you made that first cut. And then because of that, it made it all easier to do, you know, all the rest of it. Yeah. It easier to keep it clean and make it, make it perfect. Yeah, definitely. And then with that, it's just repetition as well, right? It's like, anything takes practice. When you really care. Yeah. You know, like, I, I feel like we get kind of jaded. I mean, luckily, we do have a, a supply of fish. You know, we're, we're not we're not short on it. Um, and, uh, but yeah, you, you were definitely a reminder to treat each one of those things like, like it was gonna be a, a sushi fish. Like, yeah. like, you were gonna eat this fish raw, you know? 100%. Um, and you did that too. You showed us some crazy stuff this week. Some crazy stuff that yeah. you didn't cook yeah. that I would have swore needed to be cooked. And this dish is going to be fun. Hopefully it comes out the way I'm thinking. Oh, you got some Aliti mushrooms, <laughs> some local produce. Local produce. I came from right here. Yeah, yeah Aliti mushrooms is grown like 20 minutes down the road. That's awesome. What else That's do you need insane. for ingredients? All right. Yeah, what else do you need, my friend? Keep going. We will, let's fry up the kole. We can put this aside for now. In the wind so it blows away? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Most likely. Here is our kole. And what, what I was kind of wondering in the water, uh -huh. it's like, why did this become like a staple fish to eat and spear? And because there's like hundreds of other lookalikes, look like right? Yeah. They, lo they all like look so similar and similar size. They don't taste so similar. Though. Really? Yeah. Oh. They, like, there's just something about fried kole. Uh -huh. Maybe it's just because of you know the the environment I grew up in. Yeah. That is the king. You know, and mm -hmm. there's there's a black eye kole that they call the king eye, the king kole that doesn't taste nearly the same. And you'll see when you fry it in there, you're yeah. gonna get an orange color to the oil. And uh, that I think is you know like that's a good question. Why? Yeah. So that's where that's the the inspiration behind my tattoo. Yes. Is are these guys. <laughs> But yeah, so I mean, why the kole? Why yeah. not the kole? Why not? The kole? You know, I think it's a, a good little hamakua, hamakua favorite. Yeah. And um, you know, it just seems like every region, you know, how language changes over time and distance. Right. I think preferred fish changes over yeah. time and distance as well. Yeah. Okay, I just scored all these fish, and I'm just gonna season with some Hawaiian salt, sea salt, and we're gonna fry them up. Hawaiian word for salt is pa'akai. Pa'akai. Pa, solid, pa'akai, ocean water. So the oh, solid form of ocean solid, water. Solid ocean water. Pa'akai. You want more oil? Uh, yeah, give me a little bit more. So like, the Hawaiians way that they would gather it is, when there's big surf like this, all the yeah. little tide pools that are just out of the reach, mm -hmm. would fill with the ocean. Yeah, And yeah. then of course it would evaporate. Yep. What was left was the solid form of the ocean. Mm -hmm. That's where Pa'akai came from. You know, and like yeah. the importance of Pa'akai to the Hawaiian people, you know, could never be overstated. Oh, wow. Because that's how they preserved right. from the past and brought it into the future. Right. Into the fire she goes. Just be careful because that handle is on fire now. Oh, shoot. <laughs> What's cool is these are actually aquarium fish. You can go online, you can you can order really? order these straight to your door. Yep. They're like 80 bucks a piece. 80 bucks. For little bitty guys. <laughs> little bitty guys, yep. 
$80, eighty dollar chip. fish. Eighty dollar chip. These aren't potato chips though. <laughs> These are full potatoes. These are. I don't like when my cole tastes like fish. Like I don't like when it's like a fish. Like when there's like meat. You know what I mean? I like it all crunch. I think we're ready. And if I'm frying the coles at a party, mm -hmm. they're gonna come out with no tails because I eat all the tails <laughs> to the buffet line. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what happened to the tail? That's my favorite part. It's like the chip. Beautiful. Okay. So you see that golden color? Let's get this guy. Yeah. Like Ryan yeah. likes him when the whole thing is like that. Right. Good looking temperature. Cruising along. We're gonna take some of these fresh noodles. I'm gonna wrap a fish on it. What? We're gonna wrap a fish and we're gonna just drape it, drape, drape it on there just like that. If it comes out the way I'm thinking, <laughs> this is gonna be nuts. <laughs> All right. This is rad over a fire. So are these noodles cooked already? Oh, no. Oh, you okay oh. <laughs> I just ladled a ton of oil on myself. Bro, are you okay? That yeah. was sore. No, that... Oh my god. Oh. It's okay, I, it feels fine right now. Let me just get it done. I just ladled oil. <laughs> that was kind of hot. Yeah. Let's try it. Let's do one more. Okay. Let's do one more. Crazy stuff going down right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Does look like he has hair. Bro. Insane or what? <laughs> <laughs> Taku, world's first. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is insane. Right. Bro! <laughs> That's Heck yeah. yeah. I thought you, seriously, I thought you were going to succeed me. <laughs> Justin, you going to do this at the next uh, garage party? Oh yeah. Negative. <laughs> <laughs> you think you're just showing we gotta up give and wrapping, uh... We got to give him some hair. <laughs> it's like a throw net. It's like a cast net. <laughs> oh yeah. It's this good is, when it spreads out yeah. on the bottom. Perfect, like you nice base. Pace. Yeah. Brother, this is rad. This is pretty cool. I like it. I like it. Have you done this uh, presentation on any other? Thing? No, never. No? First never. Time? First time. Oh. Now we're crisping up some noodles. No, the, the drama of the outdoors, I mean, it's insane. I mean, we've had the pot spinning around. We can't move the pot. We lost our handle. You know, you, you have like a bad burn there. I don't know. You got a good oil burn. It's time to bubble there, but yeah. it feels fine. It's all good. It'd be good. too easy for you inside. Inside, no fun. It's just regular cooking. Just regular cooking. Out here, just an experience. Experience of the outdoors. Pretty epic. Bro, for a second, put your two thumbs together. No, he's bad. Bro! Yeah, it's not a good one. Just, um... <laughs> A little bit, just a little bit right there. A little bit. Yeah. That's not a little bit. I'll take a little bit of ice. <laughs> some aloe. Yeah, aloe. That one is drowning. <laughs> that one is drowning. See? Oh, those are those are flying out. These are just in the background. So we have some vegetables sauteing and I'm going to add a little bit of uh, dashi in there and then we'll add in some cornstarch water to thicken it up and that's going to be a sauce and we're going to glaze that right on top of all of this. Mushrooms going in. Some cabbage, some bok choy, everything going in. I 
little salt. Little show you. Add a little water. This is Hondashi. Ooh, there we go. Oh, do you have pepper too? Do we have some yeah, black pepper? Oh. Okay, we want it a little bit more salty. It's pretty much cooked through. All right, I'm going to take this. Okay, how about you open this? Nothing. Nothing going on here, guys. <laughs> oh, we would just be the t the worst, <laughs> the worst drug dealers <laughs> outside. Cornstarch in the water bottle. Shake that up, and then I'm gonna add it to this. It's gonna thicken the sauce. We have the opihi, right? I'm gonna throw some of these in here. Some fresh opihi inside. Let me just take it, the ones without the... Uh... Yeah, it's you gonna pop them out or you gonna leave them in the shell? I think I'll leave them in the shell. Yeah. Be, I think it'll be cooler, no? Yeah, they're gonna pop out of the shell when they're finished cooking. Right. The funny thing is, Hawaii, yeah? you look for the ones with all with the, the with the seaweed, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I was because just thinking are the ones that are yellow and brighter. No, right. I understand what you're doing. Yeah. That's so, like two worlds collide right here. Yeah. We know we call the green ones, the ones without limo. What'd you call them? Cowboys, because they're scared of the water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, probably, do you want to cut some of this? I can do whatever you like. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, you can do a little bit of both. What is this other one? Oh, uh, that's Thai basil. Thai basil. Did you pick that from the garden? This one. So this is it was from, from Innovations. Yep. Ah, very cool. This is the third garden he's raided in 24 hours. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, once that comes to a boil again, it's gonna thicken up right away. Never in a million years, you know, would we, would I even think of, you know, sitting out here in my backyard that's basically with a, a chef from you know northern california putting opihis in a chow mein dish that yeah is drenched over a pole that we speared three hours ago. yeah Incredible. you know yeah. and uh, the story that's going to come from uh, and the passion that everybody has and the enjoyment from here through um you know the consumption of it every step along the way is is, is beautiful <laughs> all right guys this is this should be done now. So what are you gonna call this? I don't know. Sauce going on. Okay, okay. That's pretty much it right there. Taco. We got it. We did it, guys. Look at him, jumping out of the noodles. <laughs> Trying to Just get Just leaping out. Leaping out of there. Ooh, and it smells delicious. We gotta finish it off with some barnacle foods, outdoor chef life, chili crisp on top. Um, it's basically a chili oil with a lot of crispy bits in it, okay. and what we incorporate is kelp. No way. And it's a collaboration I did with a company called Barnacle Foods up in Alaska. All the kelp is harvested in Alaska. Incredible. And you just put this on all kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff. All right, guys, here it is. I don't even know what to call this dish. What do you think? What do we call it? Smorgasbord. What do we call it? Swimming fish noodles. <laughs> there, that is, you're on. A, you're on. Call it fish noodles. No, 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 swimming fish. Yeah. Swimming. Swimming like noodles. The, the action. Call it swimming. Swimming noodles. out of fish. Swim, swimming out of noodles. <laughs> jumping. Col, jumping cole. Jumping cole. The there jumping cole. The jumping cole. The crispy jumping oh cole. There it is. All right. Oh, well, let's try it. Last thing to do. Or, cheers. Cheers. Cheers this. Cheers. cheers. I like that tradition <sighs> you guys have got going on. Woo! <laughs> and this is a, a local one too. A local one. Oh, well, tell Tulsi Berry. All right, let's I'm just grab a noodles. Grab a grab a layer. Grab a layer of everything. Yeah. Ooh, crispy. There's no pee. Mmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. mm. That's incredible, bro. Mm -hmm. Crispy. Mm -hmm. I miss the noodles. I miss the noodles. You gotta go. You gotta I get got the, the noodles. Oh, don't want to eat that I need, show. I need the fish. I need to try the fish. 
<laughs> Don't fall. Mm. Yep. I'll just grab this one. Mmm. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. Crispy. Do you help crispies? That They're add a little spice in there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You like that? Amazing. Mm. Mm. Cole with the kelp crispies. This is so good. Just break it up. Go ahead, try this. Oh, all right. Maybe try the bottom fins. Oh, no. Yeah. The way it looks reminds oh, right me of... Um, oh. Bite that right there. Very crispy. Mm -hmm. These are incredible. Oh, truly some hard-fought cole. Turning... They weren't that hard to get, <laughs> but, man, over the open fire, the burns. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Coming out of the noodles is... Mm -hmm. This is just freaking epic. That's super rad. Just the, I mean, I just gotta admit myself, you know, it's just cool. No, it's, it's just it, cool. It's the coolest. <laughs> it's the coolest. I don't think I've ever had crispy noodles. I love that you can pretty much eat the whole thing. The whole thing. You can eat a lot. Come on, we gotta try this one. We gotta try him. The two man. Crispy first noodles. One ever done. Mmm. <laughs> that is so rad. That is. Insane. Mm. Oh yeah. I want you to go back and tell all your local friends <laughs> that you ate cole wrapped with noodles. Crispy jumping cole. They're gonna be like, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> so the fish was jumping out of the noodles like this and it was <laughs> There was a pea scattered on the bottom. There was limo everywhere. Like, get out of here. No one's gonna believe you. Mm. Bro, that sauce with the crispy The kelp. sauce is so good. How did you make the sauce so good? It was nothing. Oh, maybe I'll do a little close up of this guy. Look at that. That's cool. Well, what an awesome time today. Out here in Hawaii, another adventure. Ooh. Call it cheers. Call it cheers. Amazing, man. Big, Amazing. Big, big shout out to Justin. Thank you, my brother. Yeah, of course, bro. That was so much fun. Thank you for taking us, bringing us here. Thanks to Ryan. Oh. I didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> you clean the fish. You clean the fish. That's a lot of work there. We're going to finish this up. Probably going to kill the entire thing within minutes after we stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> If you like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. This was life changing. This is a truly world's first. Taku. What do we call it? Noodles. Jumping Brush your shoulders off. Brush your shoulders off. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you.